This is an experiment with a spinning wheel, a rather large wheel, 13 inches diameter, mounted in a ball bearing on a shaft three feet long. I am going to hold it like this and swing it in a circle and lift it with one hand, but only when it's spinning. First of all, let me weigh it to show you just how heavy it is. As I talk, you'll see that lifting it is quite an effort. It weighs about 40 pounds, and I can't lift it any higher than that without a lot of strain. So now we'll spin it up to two and a half thousand revs a minute, at which point it becomes a live thing. Then I shall lift it five feet in three seconds by going round in a big circle. Whilst I'm doing it, I shall talk to you so that you shall tell from my voice that I'm not under any stress of any kind. Now in a minute I shall let go with my left hand and holding this remote end of the shaft only I shall lift the wheel through five feet all on its own with no effort on my part. All I do is apparently just to steer it along a path that it's already decided it would like to go. Then there's the question of how you stop the wheel. At that speed, that wheel has enough energy to throw itself 200 feet in the air. Did you notice that as it went round in a circle, there was no centrifugal force trying to pull my arm out sideways? Let's just do it once more to save time. We've already spun it up. So here goes 40 pounds of wheel as light as a feather. This is not a conjuring trick. This is a fact of science. Watch it again carefully. A fact about a spinning wheel that so far everyone has missed.